conclude is it's like 99% of shit and 1% of chocolate flavor of shit. Hello everyone, good evening. This video is regarding the candy chat with Tongshan Chan from Shanghai. He started his PhD at very young age of 22 years at prestigious University of Oxford and now he has joined Institute John Lamour, France as a postdoctoral researcher. And what I loved about this chat is his honest answers. In the following sections of this video, he will share many important things regarding the PhDs and the most important thing is that why he regret that he did PhD. I hope it will be very useful to someone in some corner of this world who is streaming to pursue PhD from a reputed university. So my name is Tongjing Chen and I come from Shanghai, China. So I, I, I'm a postdoc now working in IJL. And I'm, I'm mainly working on the 2D materials and the spintronics. So for now, I'm working on 2D materials crystal structures. And the, the current goal is to build a spin LED with pure 2D materials. To be honest, I don't know how. I mean, I just apply for the put for the PhD when I yeah by at the during at the end of my like a bachelor degrees and I apply for the Oxford and I take the interview and then my supervisor just told me. You can... So you got admission after your bachelor or master degree? The bachelor. Okay, so it was direct PhD. Okay. I was like, uh, uh, I say I, I want to apply for a master degrees for now and my supervisor says no, no need to do the master, you can definitely hmm. have the PhD. That's great. And what is the procedure to apply? They have like a website you can okay. submit the application form. Yes. Okay. That's good. I think it's just a normal procedure. Okay. So my PhD topic is on the fabrication of 2D materials with the CVD method and also making the photo electronics uh, with these 2D materials by stacking them to make the hydrostructures. Just like normal PhD student. I you mean like a uh, European PhD? Mm, maybe not. I think the yeah, in most time you just work in the lab, and mm. focus on your study. Mm. So I think in in Europe, like most PhD, they did the same thing, I guess. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just different topics, different experiments based on the based on my discussion with my friends or other people in my department we basically just live like a normal PhD students okay so you have courses or examinations to take in UK we don't have at least in Oxford we don't have these examinations you have that's the benefit yeah that's the benefit uh, to me not because I don't take the master degrees so when I start my PhD, I realized that I have some, I need to learn a lot. I have some problems with my okay. background knowledge and also experience in doing the PhD. So this is actually, I don't think it's very bad, good to, to me. Okay. I, I realized that for those who take the master degrees, they perform better, much better. Okay, so I get it. So when you get admission in PhD, you are very young. 22. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Well, to be honest, when I start my PhD, I just don't have any idea what I'm going to do in the future. Okay. Just, like you have this offer from Oxford for a PhD, then why, why not? <laughs> but I haven't decided 
decide what I'm going to do in the future at that time. When I decide to to be like a researcher, it's like after I finish my PhD and just during the pandemic when I'm locked down in the home. So I was thinking like, uh, what, are, what are you going to do in your life? So, and then I decide maybe for now I should do these like research things for now. Well, to me the first cultural shock, or maybe I don't know whether it can be a cultural shock. It's like when I try to buy a bike in UK. Okay. It's ridiculously expensive, and it was like a more than three hundred pound for a bike, which in China is like a three hundred yuan, and uh, just like a, a for like in Oxford, like most people ride a bike. And it's very convenient to ride a bike, so I decided to get a bike, and then I realized it's why it's so expensive. And also, not only the buying a bike, also repair the bike, like when you have no problem. So during my four years PhD, I, I learned how to repair the bike. <laughs> yeah, because it's too expensive. For example, you change it, change your the wheel, it's like uh, more than fifty pounds. Yes. That's something I really don't understand. Why it's so expensive? And then, uh, did you find any reason why it is so expensive no. in these countries? And it's even more expensive here in France. You know, uh, specifically, uh, specifically, I think that in our countries, Asian countries, the bikes are quite cheap, and nobody also thinks to steal it. But here, you can see that. Someone steals someone's seat, then small bicycle, then maybe another mm. part. I think every Oxford student they, they, they lost their bike, at least one bike during yeah. their PhD. Okay. I think this for this for me personally, I don't really mind which country I end up in. So but I think for most Chinese students or researchers, I think the problem is like living abroad. It's like the language and also the culture. I think mainly it's the language. So, for example, for your Indian, you can, you can speak English. It's, it's like your daily life, you can speak English. But for, for Chinese people, it might be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, also the culture is very... The culture between EU and in Asia is very different. Yes. It's, and it's like... A, you need to how to say change you a little bit to become like a social guy or this kind of thing to make friends to to join other people's like small groups this kind of things. But I think it might be difficult for Chinese people because the culture is so different. Okay. Yeah. We like singing. EU, they people are more like outgoing, but in China, like no, no. Yeah, so I can understand, and also, like, for for Chinese guys, like your family, family is very important for Chinese guys. So your family definitely they stay in China. Okay. So most people decide to go back to China, and also most of your friends, they they will live in China. So, yes more comfortable for Chinese people to stay in China well in other countries they, they, they it's very difficult to get used to all these differences okay and how about the research activities in China do government promotes the research so the Chinese government they, they provide a lot of funding so and they in the salary nowadays if you want to go back to China and to become like a PI or or start like to establish a group or become a professor in the university or the institute, research institute, they, they, the, the pay is very good. And there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of fundings. Yes. 
think that's why like it's like a like the it's booming actually. okay so the research so it's a very good opportunity it's a lot of positions so yes and how's the scope for foreigners in china in research field i don't know you don't know okay no but i know it's like they're comparing to like uh, 10 years ago so like more and more i can see more and more foreign students in shanghai okay than 10 years ago so yeah I guess they are now, like most universities, they now accept foreign students. But for details, I don't know. Okay, okay, no problem. Because yeah. you have been out of the country for many years, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Long. So I think the, the main funding source is the CSC. I think uh, like a lot of PhD students or master student, exchange student, they, they get the funding from the government, the CSC. Yeah cover the, your uh, the tuition fee and uh, living costs yes so playing computer again yes okay. it's like a, something you have you're very stressful so you need something to release the stress to me it's like a, like to play in games with my friends so computer games basically so I think I spend a lot of time doing that Okay. I, the life of PhD. So, to conclude this, it's like a ninety-nine percent of shit and one percent of chocolate flavor of shit. <laughs> so short and sweet. Mm. Yeah. I think I only have one advice. So do not take a PH, PhD because you have an opportunity to take a PhD. You need to think about, because taking a PhD is a very big commitment. Uh, in France, it's okay. I mean, you don't have to pay a lot. In UK, you need to pay a lot. You need to spend at least four years. And you need to work very hard, a lot of time, a lot of money. And then if you don't, like it you don't enjoy it then it's just a waste of time and money and you and you don't think it's worse it's very bad so before you do that you need to think about why i need to take a phd it's not like uh, people say well, you got a phd you have a better opportunity to get a job no it's not like this it's definitely not like this so you mean the phd should be a passion not just a opportunity right no it's not it's like a, it's just a choice you need to think in advance whether you should take this choice I, I know a lot of people after they take the phd they just regret yeah and then for some people they just spend several years doing experiments and they, they decide to change their career yeah so and that's a waste of time it's a waste of time time yeah. and money just like a lot of people even me, before I take a PhD, I have no idea why I need to take a PhD. I just say, oh, that's cool. That's PhD in Oxford. Big then, name. Yeah. PhD in Oxford. Why not? And then, yeah. Then I see a lot of people regret doing the PhD. And even me sometimes. Yeah. You need to think in advance why you need a PhD. What career you want to make. So sometimes you regret that why you did the PhD, right? Yes. Okay. Of course. Okay. So now also as a postdoc? Yes. Okay. Sometimes. So yeah, this is very honest answer. I like yeah. it. Yeah, normally all time research, researchers say we are fascinating about this thing. We love science. Uh, we love life. physics. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, so yeah. Doing, I, doing science, you have a lot of like uh, bad emotions. <laughs> yes okay it's a pretend to be good so now oxford university student is saying <laughs> i have regret sometimes well everyone regret. yeah everyone regret. it's human nature no yeah but uh, yeah, yeah this is also one good advice at least we are regretting but others others should not regret yeah